Hi guys, this is Stir Fried Glory, and I'm doing a little quick preview of the new Team Fortress 2 update. came out about, I would say, five to six days ago. Um, they added a new co-op thing to the game, and they also added a new thing that's currently in beta stage, and it's uh, basically matchmaking for Team Fortress 2. Although, it is pretty good. It's a little bit buggy at times. Uh, I've had issues with freezing, and the wait seems to be a little bit too long. And it should be taking up to maybe five minutes when you hit a game. But other than that, it's pretty good. So I'm going to be showing you guys what the new co-op mode's like. And I guess I'm just going to play on boot camp because that's the easiest way. They actually added a new feature to where you can create a party with friends. Which it actually is very helpful for when you want to play with friends. Otherwise, before it was kind of tough. You had to both find the same server and join it through, which actually I guess now thinking about it, it wasn't that hard, but yeah, it's just now a lot easier. A lot more of a Call of duty s experience, and yeah, I, I personally am not a fan of the Call of Duty franchise itself. I like zombies, but how the matchmaking setup honestly is probably some of the best I've seen, and Valve has kind of put their little bit of hand towards that. And I know in the new Counter-Strike Go, I guess it has matchmaking, which I am also going to be doing videos for soon. And we'll see how that goes. And estimated time is about one minute. This is actually short compared to most days. Normally it can be five to six minutes. And yeah, I'll let you guys see some footage as soon as this is done loading up. <sighs> I finally got into a game. And after talking through multiple directors and stuff, stuff like that, uh, it seems that the uh, retrieving the server info can be a little bit slow, and I honestly don't think that's just me after speaking with multiple people, all with different gaming computers with higher setups than mine, which mine is already pretty high with the 560 GTX. Uh, retrieving server info can be pretty slow. Uh, I run in about a very solid... I would say 16 megabytes a second because I have heavy duty internet. So honestly, that part's a little bit slow, but I'm sure it would get better with time. It's still in the very early stages of this. And although I, I find I have found the experience to be quite enjoyable, at the end of each round there are upgrades to be bought with the money you find. And yeah. Uh, at first the waves begin pretty easy, usually soldiers that only melee or don't shoot their rockets that much. And there's a little bit of lag issues at the moment. I actually weren't, wasn't having any earlier, but it's appearing kind of a little bit laggy right now. And so the servers are pretty solid. I don't know necessarily what's going on. Probably just a bad game. And yeah. Uh, the classes are all the same. There are no new classes in case any of you guys are wondering that. That's kind of obvious thing. Over here's the upgrade station. Each class has its own unique upgrades. Uh, for instance, the heavy can get some blast resistance, some increased movement speed, jump height, critical health generation, bolt resistance, and fire resistance. So pretty much making him a good tank. Uh, you can actually get the ability to shoot rockets out of the air, firing speed, ammo capacity, stuff like that. And it all goes relatively the same towards everything, just adding little bits of upgrades towards that. And a power-up canteen uh, can be added with H to provide power effects. Uh, I have not necessarily earned any power canteens yet because I have not played enough of the boot camp yet to be in those man things. In which case I'll probably later on in this video go back and actually play a man round. See what that's like. Uh, I heard it's basically the same thing. You know, a little bit harder, but there are upgrades to be found. And you can earn equipment even by playing on other people's servers. I did earn some earlier. Those of you that do like equipment, like equipment whores, because TF2 definitely has a lot of that going for it. Definitely one of my new favorite parts about this. Well, it looks like this round's going a little bit slow. It could have been because of the lag or something like that. And oh look, here comes the Armada. And I should have probably gotten that upgrade to shoot rockets out of the sky because god, there are a lot of them. And a little bit of lag. I don't really think many of those bullets were Regis registering to the best of their abilities. Uh, you can actually pay money if you die to respawn in early, and that's pretty much how everything is gained from this. You actually gain a little bit of money from killing people, or if you, uh, 
Oh, I cannot change my classes. Um, you can only change classes in between ways. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, you, when you kill people, you get a little bit of money for it, but they also drop money on the ground, as you can see right there. So you can pick that up for an extra little boost if you have the guts to, because a lot of that money is in the area. As for the gameplay, uh, it's very def uh, similar to Dungeon Defenders, which I have not played much of. But basically, think about like this. The most universal Wave thing that most completed. people know is Dota, or League of Legends, Quickly. I guess, is another game that has it. Um, imagine like a reversal. Imagine instead of trying to push your troops forward, you're instead sitting back and trying to survive the onslaught of troops. Because the whole point is they have to get the bomb to the end of the level. So actually now I think about it, think of more like tower defense without the towers. Basically a bunch of heroes. Not ready. Stuff like that. So let's see, I'm going to check out some of the other classes. Um, I'm feeling a little bit like a soldier. Soldier sounds pretty good. Uh, this, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the robots actually have every single class, like a robot form to it. Uh, so basically there's robot spies, robot heavies, robot demo mans, everything you could, you would basically expect. Um, let's see what upgrades. Health regeneration, that would have been nice. Crit resistance. Nah, I think I'm just going to accept what I've got and continue. And let's just bring myself up. Um, yeah, so there's every type of class. I have not seen a medic, now that I think about it. Um, Yo, medic's ready? the only class I haven't seen. But then again, I'm pretty sure they are there. Uh, there's snipers. They, you can actually spot them through blue... There's blue lasers that shut their eyes. So basically, if you see a blue laser near you, that means a sniper has a sight on you. The AI is very, very well done. Uh, yeah, definitely congratulations come. to Valve on that one. For, I mean, I I didn't hear anything about this. This update came out of the blue, so I was honestly honestly expecting something kind of half-assed. I don't know why. Uh, most things that come from Valve are usually never half-assed, except maybe Half-Life Episode One. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah. Oh, here's something else I forgot. Every few waves, a tank shows up, and basically the tank sucks. It takes a shit ton of bullets to kill, and robots still show up. And occasionally, uh, bo bosses show up, I guess, for lack of a better word. They're basically like giant versions of every character. The most I've seen, or like the most frequently one to show up is Giant Demo Man. And yeah, it's basically what you'd, you'd think. A very huge Demo Man, except they usually have something special about them. Uh, the Demo Man, I believe, had the grenade launcher that was fully automatic, as cheap as that sounds, and it was very cheap. Uh, this game requires a lot of co-op, like, like a lot of working together. Because honestly, if you, everyone is just doing anything on their own, you will not get past wave five. Wave five is about the highest point I've gone to without with pe random people online. I feel like maybe if we had a bit more of an organized team, or we could actually organize a heavy, a medic, a sniper for everything. Things could be a little bit better, but I mean, Team Fortress Two is free. And honestly, for being free, go get this right now. Uh, it doesn't matter if you just like competitive pl play, because this game has like, amazing competitive play. It, but if you're like me, I'm a little bit more of a co-op type person. I love Borderlands. Um, I don't know. I love Grand Theft Auto free roaming, because I just love shooting cops. Basically, anything that could be turned a little bit into some form of co-op, I'm always on it. And so this update is honestly a great thing for people like me. Uh, and let's see. I'd like to um, upgrade my damage. Oh, that's all I'll do. And what's doing some man vs. machine, bro? What's doing? I don't know what that is, so I'm going to ignore that right now. I think he's trying to say what are Thanks you doing, but whatever. It's not my issue. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. There's... Nothing really, honestly, like, super intense, like, you'd be like, oh, I never thought about that. Yeah, so let's sh I'm just going to continue playing out this whole round and see how it goes. 
Pony up, boys! Get bloody going! Come on! Oh shit, I'm not pressing Sound the red. Ready. Spy. Oh, okay. Uh, Another thing, the bots. Ready. I Ready. actually Ready. did see a bot Protect spy, Manco. which was really interesting. They actually do disguise themselves. Five, the AI is really four, well done. They will disguise three, themselves as your teammates. Two, and no one, one really spy checks yet. It's still such a. Whoa. Game glitch right there. It's still a pretty. Oh, and I saw blue around those guys. So there might have been a man. Uh, wow, that's laggy, and why is the game doing this? Yeah, the spies will disguise themselves, stab you in the back. The AI is incredibly well done, like I was stating before. Enemies will actually take different paths to sometimes fuck with you. Maybe you have it. You have a couple engineers that set up this amazing turret route in this one spot that no matter what will kill anyone. The AI is actually smart enough where it will walk around. Them. And gold. That guy is solid gold, and I do not know why. <laughs> I do dig that guy's hat, though. As you can see in the top, it says hit H to pay credits to respawn early, like I was saying. You can do that. Mm, this game's pretty easy so far. Uh, I, I believe the upgrades eventually show up for the other team for every couple ways to defeat them, such as extra health, more damage, um, I don't know, more speed? I got I guess that can be one of them. Yeah. That guy has, I believe, a Skyrim helmet. And I am in love with it. I love the Elder Scrolls. I love your helmet, man. <laughs> Ooh, sniper! Come here, sniper. Yeah, see there's the little blue laser. And I'm gonna steal your money. Oh, looks like see and there's a lot of melee troops. And I believe those are giant heavies. Yep, that definitely looks like a giant heavy. Yeah, a fuck ton of help. And that bomb you see right there on the ground, that's the bomb they're trying to get over to me. That's the shit that makes you insta lose. As great as that is. Thank you for healing me, consider. Oh, there's the super heavy. And my laggy ass rocket shots. This is not the greatest games. Yeah, I think you guys relatively get the point. Go check it out, man. It's free. It's fucking free. Just go get it. I mean, it's a little bit laggy. Make sure you have a good connection. I mean, if you can sit through the lag and a little bit of the very kind of long waiting times to get in games, it's a pretty enjoyable experience to be found. Although a little bit tough, it would definitely keep you, give you a good couple hours. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys. And see you guys later.